Perry. Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz joins us. Good evening, sir. Hi, Greta. All right, it's a big hearing tomorrow before the House Judiciary Committee. Attorney General Eric Holder is going to be there. What are you going to ask him? Well, we want to know the same basic questions. Who knew about this? And then who participated in the cover-up? Because it is crystal clear to me and to people like Trey Gowdy and Chairman Issa that we have been lied to at Congress. We have been totally misled by the Department of Justice. President Obama, back in March of 2011, promised that there would be uh, exposure to this. They would rectify the problem and hold people accountable. That hasn't happened. And so the Attorney General could have put this to bed a long, long time ago, as you pointed out. But he hasn't done that because I think there's a cover-up going on. All right. The, the state, what the Justice Department says is they disagree uh, very vigorously with uh, Congressman Ice's statements. They say that he's got the facts wrong, um, and so they're, I mean they're battling you on this one. They say that you guys are all wrong on this. Well, we remember we issued a subpoena back in October, a subpoena which they uh, complied with. Speaker Boehner, about three weeks ago, sent a letter over to the Department of Justice asking some very basic questions of them and the White House. They have not complied with that. So they refused to provide these documents, which, if in the case of what they're arguing, the Department of Justice would clear them of our misconceptions, then provide us the documents. But I think it's crystal clear, uh, Greta, that the reason they don't give us the documents, and the, only the whistleblowers are giving us the documents, is that it demonstrates that what the Department of Justice is saying in writing, in their testimony, and what they're leading people to believe by talking in the media, is not true. And that's why they haven't come clean this thus far. All right. With all due respect to the committee, um, it is now a year and a half, and this border agent family still doesn't have answers, and we got answers really lickety split fast out of Peru in the Secret Service scandal. You guys have sent a subpoena over. It hasn't been enforced. No contempt citation. You look awfully weak. You look like that, you know, that you're just, you're just going to hold hearing after hearing after hearing after hearing. This is getting nowhere fast. I mean, when are you going to, if, if you really believe this is a cover-up, when are you going to put some teeth into the investigation and get the answers? Oh, I think we're being slow walked. I think the administration wants to make this go past the election. Now that Speaker uh, Boehner is engaged, uh, Leader Cantor, they've asking for this information too. I think it's going to raise to a whole nother level. I think we're trying to demonstrate that we're bending over backwards to give the administration every opportunity to, to, to comply and provide this basic information. But the clock's ticking. I think we're either pushing but, uh, us but towards no ticking. other resolution it, except contempt. They say the clock's ticking. That's, I mean, I, I listened to it. I think it's yeah. been a year and a half. The clock is so ticked, and I mean, it's, it's so gone by. You've even been quoted as saying that Speaker Boehner will be sufficiently embarrassed by the continuing, you know, the fact that this doesn't yeah. get resolved. So you've said that about the Speaker. I mean, I just don't, I mean, this is a year and a half. You guys, you know, have a lot of authority to ask questions, and you've gotten nowhere fast. And so, I mean, in some ways, like, you're, you know, if you want those answers, you would get them. But you guys are letting it be slow walk. You're not getting the answers because you're not putting any teeth into this investigation and and the family sitting out there wanting answers for their for their loved one yeah I remember it was more than a year ago there were actually 31 Democrats who signed a letter to the White House to the Attorney General saying you need to come clean on this you have not provided this information I just don't see where the outrage is I mean you look at a handful of people where, chairman well, Issa, myself well that's Thursday well, tomorrow is how are you gonna get the answers Hey, if it was up to me, we would be in the contempt proceedings. You do, Greta, if anybody in America ignored a subpoena, they'd go to jail. And in this case, we can't even get the Attorney General to come clean on this. I think we're, we're left with no choice but to go to contempt. And until the, the country gets outraged well, that's this, your leadership. Winners. That's, that's your leadership. That's your speaker. You, you guys own the House of Representatives. You got the Republicans over there. If, if you think that's the way to go, this is dragging on. If your subpoena doesn't get answered, if your letters don't get answered to the Justice Bar, if you get the Attorney General down there and he doesn't answer your questions, I mean, really the ball's in your court if you want to do something. The next step is tomorrow, but I'm not necessarily going to argue with you here, Greta. I think we're, we're left with no other decision except to go to contempt because the Attorney General has just totally ignored us. And, and based on the documents that we have, thank goodness for the whistleblowers, it is crystal clear to me the evidence is there. The Department of Justice is lying. And people like Lanny Brewer and Jason Weinstein and these people have got to be count held accountable and they've got to be fired. And, and so far it hasn't happened. And I. I'm I, not here to argue I, with you on that point, Greta. All right. Well, they, I mean, the thing is that whatever the truth is, the truth is. If the Justice yeah. Department says you guys are, are all nuts about this, they should bring the information and end it. That should be the yes. end of it. If, if they are yes. hiding something, you guys need to get it. You need to do it quickly, and you have the tools. But this has been dragging on, and the family really deserves much more than what, uh, we're, what we're, we're now giving them.
Absolutely. And, and you have the same people like Lanny Brewer and, and Jason Weinstein all in place, uh, Gary Grindler, for instance, that are still in positions of power. They know, even the Department of Justice said that the, the operation was fundamentally flawed, and yet you have the same information in place. You have the same people in place. And you know as my, my colleague Trey Gowdy says, they don't even have a frowny face on their, on their performance evaluations, for goodness sake. So what are they doing about it? They're not taking the responsibility. Congress well, we'll has got to stand up for itself. Well, we'll watch to see what you, what you all do at the hearing tomorrow when the Attorney General shows up and testifies. Congressman, thank you, sir.